Hello and welcome to a new series on Kundalini Yoga. This is not so much for beginners, but more for intermediate, somewhat experienced practitioners. Beginners will be able to do it, but you may find it slightly difficult at times. Anyway, I'll be doing eight sessions. This first introductory session, and then seven more, each one devoted specifically to the separate chakra points and the related practices therein. Let's start together by having a deep breath through the mouth. Have a big breath in and a deep sigh. Close your eyes. Let's just settle here as we embark upon a journey, an adventure of sorts into the body and mind, into an understanding of consciousness itself, your own perceived reality, listening to the body and learning how your body and mind and life are all intricately connected. Check that you are relaxed here as you sit in a comfortable way. This is where we start with a stable body and mind. a straight spine, a good seated posture with relaxed breathing, feel the breath moving through your nostrils gently, slowly. Feel the breath, particularly as it comes inwards, upwards, up towards the eyebrow center, where perhaps we could say our mind is, our little egocentric mind. Behind the forehead, perhaps inside the head, relax this little mind as though it were a muscle that could be tight or soft. Feel your mind with white, pure white, unlimited white. A feeling that your mind opens completely in all directions. And now, come down to your awareness of your stomach moving with the breath. Your abdominal muscles. And let's see if we can run the breath from the lower abdominals below the belly button. Ideally, we get right down low, down into the pelvis. Building our breath from the base. Okay, relax. Again, through the mouth. Have a deep sigh. And then open your eyes. So, what is Kundalini Yoga? Well, I've always felt that all yoga practices are Kundalini Yoga practices. All yoga practices are designed to work on the body and mind, to 
open, clear and release, particularly energy. All poses work on at least one or more of the chakra points. All yoga practice is designed to lead one along the path to enlightenment, freedom, and liberation. But maybe Kundalini Yoga specifically is when we pay particular attention to the energetics of the body and the seven key energetic centers known as chakras. Chakra means wheel, wheel of energy or light. The word chakra is not a French word, it's not sh chakra, chakra. Remember, in Kundalini Yoga, we're going to work with sound, in particular, mantra. Because each of the seven chakra points are considered to have a specific seed sound, a mantra that represents the vibrational quality of each energetic point. Each of these seven points are considered to have specific themes that relate to our life. And this is when we start to see the connection between our body, mind and perceived reality within the parameters of consciousness. And we'll talk about that in each session, the subject areas for each chapter. Each chakra, or wheel of energy and light, can also be considered a gateway, like a stargate. And we also have the symbolism of the lotus flower. Each chakra point is considered to have a particular colour, a particular number of petals. Now, let's consider also that there are many traditions who have explored the fields of Kundalini and chakras and therefore we have different ideas about not only the positions in the body of where the chakras are but also of the colors. In this series I'll be teaching the classical yoga theory. Okay, so what are these seven points? Let's have a look. Close your eyes, sit up straight. Have a big breath in and a deep sigh. So, the first chakra is considered to be between the legs at the base of the pelvis. For women, it's often mentioned as the pelvic floor. For men, the point between the anus and the sex, the perineal gland or perineum. Imagine a red ball of light in this place at the base of the pelvis, a red ball of energy and light that is flowing, turning. We want to imagine being open there and clear and relaxed. And we have the mantra for this chakra, the vibrational sound. Repeat this in your mind now. Lam. Now, imagine moving this ball of energy and light up into the center of the pelvis. It becomes orange, an orange color. This ball of energy and light is flowing, turning. And as you imagine this, repeat in your mind after me the mantra, Wam. Now, 
this ball of light moves up to the lower abdominal area just below the belly button and relative to the lower back. Now the color is yellow. Imagine yourself open, clear. Feel the yellow flow of energy. Your base is strong. The mantra is Ram. Continuing upwards to the heart center, the center of the chest, the heart chakra. Imagine a dark green lotus flower opening with a pink dot in the center of its face. Also opening at the back of the heart. Your heart feels open, warm, present. The mantra, repeat after me in your mind, is Yam. Now again, let's imagine a ball of light floating up to the center of the throat, the throat chakra, a smoky purple color. Your throat feels open, warm, and clear. Also at the sides of the neck and the back of the neck, relaxed and open. The mantra, repeat after me in your mind, Hum. And now this ball of light moves up to the eyebrow center. Now imagine a two petal white lotus flower opening outwards in the forehead region. Your mind opening and feel your mind completely with white, infinite white, in all directions, the back of your head, sides of your head, no definition, pure white. Your mind is completely open and clear. No limitation, no construction. And in your mind, Repeat after me the mantra for the third eye chakra. Om. And now moving to the top of the head, the crown chakra. Imagine a round window like a porthole in a ship. Imagine opening that window or flipping the lid, pulling the curtains and a multicolored stream of rainbow colored light flowing up out of the top of your head, flowing infinitely in all directions. All the colors of the universe. And three times now repeat in your mind after me, Hari Om. Hari Om, Hari Om. Feel yourself now, your whole body open, clear, full of light and color. Light exploding all around you. And then get a sense of your gentle resting breath. First notice it in the nostril. We're calming now, we're settling. Steadying ourselves. Now bring your awareness to the stomach muscles moving with the breath. And even lower if you can, running the breath from the lower abdominal muscles.
and even further if possible, grounding yourself at the base, the base of the pelvis. Build your posture from the floor upwards and build your breath from there too. Relax, open your eyes, have a deep sigh, well that was a little taste of the things we're going to work on and there's a lot of theory to this I mean, that's what we'll look at, the different poses and practices related to each chakra point. This is information to be studied, practiced, many times, over many years. So if it's new to you, well, just get a sense of it. But as you become more experienced as a practitioner, more committed, then it will be time for you to go deeper, to study more, to practice more, and see what opens up. Okay. Hope to see you in the next session. Thanks very much for your time. Also, please, if you like these videos, always click like. And that's how they will then be spread around. Thank you.